Hello, so this will be a quick video on the Fujitsu Q550. Uh, the intended purpose of this video is to allow comparison for other individuals who have an OEM install. Uh, I performed a clean install on this machine and just installed the applications and the items and device manager that I need to work the device. So hopefully others will be able to use this as a comparison to see if it is worth doing a clean install or not. Uh, as you can see, the device has been idle for roughly about five minutes, and I'll read you off some of the information. Physical memory, 20, 20, 55 is the total. Cached is 304. Available, 1110, free, 876. Kernel megabytes, paged 80, non page 158. System currently has about 14,000 handles, 630 threads, 55 processes, and the uptime has been about 15 minutes. Uh, committed megabytes is 937 out of 4051. We can go over to process as well if you like. And there's a list roughly of the processes. That's not all of them, obviously. There we go. Sort by CPU usage. That's everything is system idle. Generally, generally, I like a uh, clean desktop. Bear with me too. I'm sitting far off to the side, so it makes the queue a little more difficult to use as it's you know calibrated and used to me using it in a normal fashion. Uh, I like generally a clean desktop, so I have set it up in uh, landscape mode, which I prefer. Although the tablet does seem to be um, designed for portrait mode use, the way the buttons are and the camera and uh, the different features. I have taken away the the most recent programs option and I'll instead I just pin what I need I was going to utilize object doc but I found this works quite well and that's one less application I have to install on here so let's first take a look we'll go through some of the control panel options and try and stay up to the side so you all can see the screen so here is the control panel let's maybe take a look at device manager And device manager, you can see everything is on here. I do have two devices disabled, the Broadcom Bluetooth and the smart card reader, because I hardly ever, well, I never use smart card reader and I and I had to use the Bluetooth yet. So I'm gonna leave it off. Uh, what else is in here that we might want to look at? I usually use the pen, but I'll try and switch back to touch a lot so that you all can also see the touch interface as well and how it works. Let's see what else I'm looking at. There's not much under the Fujitsu tablet controls. Uh, display, I haven't changed much in there. That's the bottom. Let's take a look at the TP, tablet PC settings. Uh, not much has changed in here. We'll say under buttons, here's where you can customize the Fujitsu buttons on the right. Now, uh, for some reason, I only see one button in mine. I haven't had a chance to look at that, but it is the bottom button for show or hide like the keyboard. You can change the features of these buttons. You have the options to change the press, how it reacts when you do press, and how it reacts when you do press and hold. I currently have press and hold set for mute speaker, and press is just for the tablet inputs. your Windows Mobility Center that would come up. It allows you to change your brightness, mute, uh, battery time, and what settings you're on. I typically run at the balance setting. I can show you those settings shortly. Uh, your wireless, sync, display, etc. So, nothing interesting. Let's go take a look at power options. Uh, I currently run at balanced. Um, and FYI, just history-wise, this is my first foray into a tablet. I've been looking at it for a long time as I wanted to use OneNote and other applications, but battery life has kind of kept me away. Uh, I typically work a 10 or 12 hour day, and I've been burning this in for about a week. 
and so far it lasts an entire workday without a recharge. In fact, I usually have battery life left over, and I usually leave it on all day, but mostly in uh, sleep mode whenever I'm not using it. So I found it lasts quite quite well. And uh, currently, this entire demo is being used in battery mode, so I do not have it plugged in. Uh, I've seen a small performance increase with it plugged in, but not not too much. So most. Since the tablet is designed for business use, I figured I would leave it in battery mode as most people use it that way. Now I know a lot of people have recommended changing the processor power management settings here. I did change them slightly, although I really did not notice much of a difference. Uh, currently I have them set at power minimum of 10%. Instead of the 5, I might change that back to 5, as I've found that it, it does seem to now uh, ramp up to its 100% rather quickly, and we can kind of demonstrate that. Uh, let's open up uh, CPU-Z. So here is CPU-Z. It is basically a small program that shows you information about your processor and what's going on and, and other aspects of the system. Currently it's showing that its core speed is 600 megahertz. And if you take another window, like this one say, and we'll just move around, it quickly ramps up to the 1500 or 1 1.5 gigahertz range. And then it quickly moves back down. I'm not sure if you can see it, but let's see, right now it's at 600. I'll tell you when it moves up to 15. So 600, 600, 600, 1500 right there. So about maybe a second. Not too bad. Uh, you probably could get a performance increase, I guess, from putting it up, but like I say, I preference battery life for most of my usage. Let's go back to the control panel. <clears throat> uh, let's see if there are any other settings of note. I haven't changed a lot of the personalizations with regard to fading menus and things of that nature. So I've kind of left everything that it was in Windows. Although I may adjust that in the future, but I found that I kind of like the way it works right now. So I did disable flicks, as I don't use them. And I did do the calibrations for handwriting and touch, which I definitely recommend. I uh, did the whole full-on 50-sentence calibration for handwriting, and it made a very big difference. It my, recognizes my handwriting very well. Uh, the touch as well, once the calibration was done, it it worked very well. The only time I've had problems with is using off to the side for this demo. Uh, I think that is most of the options in here. I guess we could show the um, ship device manager already. programs and features. Uh, like I say, I, it's my first tablet around the forums. I might get rid of the Adobe and see if a thinner application will work better than the Adobe Reader. But there's a list of the applications I have on here. Uh, I've used the tablet for about a week uh, extensively. Uh, pretty much every day, so I do have a good number of applications on here that I use for work and school. Alright, so let's take a look at hard drive space. That would probably be the next interesting thing. So here is the C drive. Uh, like I said, I have used it for a week, so my profile has a lot of information in it. My profile is roughly 400 meg. You can see here, U space is 17.6 gig. So without my profile, that would be roughly 17 gig. Free space is right at 39 gig, 38.9. So, so that's a size comparison for the hard drive. Its full capacity is about 56.5 gig which is higher than that, but I still have the partitions on here that included for OEM, so they do take up some room. You could probably squeeze out more room if you wanted to, but I plan to use a SDHC card, so I'm not too worried about 
C drive space, I also have the full Office 2010 suite, which we'll take a look at briefly as well.